everybody, Shane Severson, Seth Turner, Team Severson, Tips Tuesday. I can't believe it's another Tuesday already. Wanted to talk about a statistic that's on the rise. It's kind of crazy. Yep. And that is cash buyers. I know people are like, where is all this money coming from? I have a statistic I just got mm -hmm. this week. Um, in 2019, 14% uh, of every contract was a cash buyer. In 2020, that went up to 16%. 16. 16. And this year, it just skyrocketed to 23%. So if you can believe it, 23%, almost a quarter mm -hmm. of every contract that is written today is written on cash. They're paying cash. So I got two questions for you. You're out there every day. First question is, where is this cash coming from? Everybody wants to know where it's coming from. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, probably a few areas, I'd okay. say. I mean, we've got um, one area we talked about last week. We talked about equity, right? Equity. We talked about equity. People refining. I've got a client right now. They refi. They pull cash out of a, you know another home. And so they've got you know a, a sum of liquid cash. They're Ton of cash. Putting on other homes. I mean, we just talked about the graph where if yeah. you bought one home or two homes, yeah. you're, you're a millionaire after five years. Yeah. You could easily, we talked about, pull that cash back out and go buy a property cash, yeah, right? Property. So there you go. There's, there's cash buyers. There's one way. We, uh, we talked about the, a couple weeks ago, we talked about the Boulder County fire. We have people, you know, insurance companies are, you know, giving people money to reimburse them for homes that burned down. Yeah. That's a lot of cash. A lot of cash. You know, I'm not sure if it's full coverage or what it is, but I had one house, you know, go 130 over. They paid all cash for all cash. six seventy thousand dollars home. And got their money from that buyer. Got their money from a check okay. for insurance company. Um, another thing I saw a lot last year, I haven't seen it as much this year, but I think it still affects us, is um, we had people moving from, you know, historically higher priced locations, you know, like coastal towns, New York, um, San Diego, that kind of Los Angeles. So they, yeah. you know, they're the average home, Seattle, um, and they're selling, you know, normal homes for like a million dollars. Yeah. And then they're coming here and they're like, I've got a million dollars. I can buy these houses cash. Cash. It's crazy. So a lot of cash out there coming from other states, just other things going on that's kind of unique in our market. Um, you also had talked about a mortgage company doing something. That's kind of another thing. Talk, yeah. talk to me about that. Yeah, so it, uh, I think it's, I started seeing it a little bit last year. It's kind of cool. So they have, there's certain mortgage companies, they think a lot more are trying to do it now because they're all trying to be competitive with one another. But essentially they'll run you through their whole underwriting process they'll get you fully prepped and then they'll essentially present you as a cash buyer to the seller and then once you're under contract essentially they you know switch loan terms and then you kind of you know convert to a conventional mm. loan but somehow some way it, you're presented as a cash buyer mm. up front which i think raises that statistic yeah. we're seeing so you can write an offer as cash through some of these mortgage companies yeah. interesting <clears throat> um cool so the, the the next question i really have is how do you compete then how do you compete with a cash buyer how do you compete yeah i mean one of the th there's a lot of things you can do on a contract to compete but i think one thing you need to say before you even start that conversation is we we had talked a little bit last week and the last month that one quarter of contracts fall out right and that those cash offers typically are statistically a little bit higher of falling out than someone who's a conventional or fha so yeah that's how you i mean that's part of the conversation you have a lot of contracts falling out mm. um competing against cash offers i mean again we kind of go back to terms you talk about you know the inspection stuff you can talk about uh waiving inspection or doing you know maybe a limited inspection that kind of thing um and just making a good connection with the yeah. agent i think that's the big thing sure um making sure you're doing your due diligence to, you know, um, make sure that you have a chance before you're in there and discouraged in the first place. Yeah, so. one of our one of our big things is we want to offer as a team five-star service yeah. in a two-star industry. Real estate, unfortunately, and I'm sorry for that, for all those that have experienced that, uh, typically this industry, you get about a two-star service. A lot of brand new agents, a lot of people that don't know what they're doing, a lot of people that aren't very educated, uh, just out selling a couple homes, and so you get a two-star service. One thing that we're very uh, big on is offering 
a five-star service, which yeah. is education, educating other agents on, did you know that 25% of these offers are going to fall apart? Yeah. And in that case, I've got a buyer that will waive inspection, waive all this stuff. Let's just make this work. And if you properly educate people, I think we can compete with cash. In fact, a lot of the uh, good agents yeah. aren't necessarily motivated by cash because yeah. of those statistics. Yeah. So it seems a little overwhelming and daunting to uh, to a lot of our buyers, but really we can get you in and we can compete. One thing I want to talk about next week, and I wanted to kind of give it a little plug, is for those of you who own homes, how do I track my home value, right? So how do I track it? I look on Zillow, I look on Redfin, and the numbers are all over the board. They change every month. If you're one of our clients, you uh, most likely belong to HomeBot and you get those evaluations. And so I, I just wanna talk a little bit about why those are so important and what value that will add for you. So hang tight, next week you're gonna learn how we track your home value and why it's more accurate than anything else yeah. on the market. God bless, we'll see you next week. Uh -huh.